This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Blockchain.com um, 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 um. George Orwell used to say, People have a difficult time admitting a complex truth. Even just a truth that contains two conflicting elements. Heck, the elements don't even need to be conflicting directly. All there really has to be to trigger cognitive dissonance, dissonance is a positive and negative element. He uses the example of Salvador Dali. As a topic, he was controversial back in those days. Some people would tell you that Salvador Dali was a terrible artist and a terrible man. And a lot of other people said he was a great man, nice man, and great artist. Orwell's point was, well, isn't it possible that he was a bad man and a good artist? Or in the same way, back in the early days of the Free State Project, there was a move to try and get one of our people on the Bill O'Reilly show. Oh, the O'Reilly Factor, I guess I should call it. Some FSB leadership types, or at least one, were against this. And they said, why, no, he's terribly statist. But isn't it possible that he's both statist and also fair to his guests, or also likely to get us a lot of publicity, even if he isn't fair? The truth is usually not black and white. It's a subtle mix of good and bad. Even if it's absolute and objective, it still has nuance. The difficulty people have accepting this sometimes leads me to problems in my work. People assume that since I'm a liberty-leaning guy who moved to New Hampshire, I shouldn't be speaking out against their bad activism. Or, more commonly, I shouldn't be speaking out against their halfway decent activism. A lot of times I will criticize people for, you know, not necessarily because they did something, but because, hey, if they had just done such and such, it would have been twice as effective. Well, some folks don't easily get their mind around the fact that a person can be for them, but against something that they've done. Uh, maybe just for tactical reasons. That a person can favor most of what they're doing and maybe just not favor certain parts. Maybe it's expecting too much subtlety to uh, ask that people understand I am a reporter slash columnist on the one hand, uh, while also being in favor of freedom. Being a sort of opinion writer with a video camera, I'm likely to be talking about subjects while some liberty activists would like them hushed up. The desire for transparency on my part in that case would be in conflict with, say, the desire to see pro-transparency people elected. In some cases. Am I a reporter first? A liberty guy first? Hard to say because the two, when done right, should tend to be in harmony. But I do know that I am both, and when interacting with you, or your favorite politician, or your least favorite politician, I'm going to try to see the subtlety, the mix of good and bad that really exists, as opposed to just being all for or all against. That is my way. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet. Chock full of privacy and security features. Two-factor authentication. A second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.